Okay, so for the top part of um, the hair, your studio might want it to be um, different. So it could just be straight back or it could be something fancy like this. <laughs> but once you get it back and tied like this together, um, it's going to typically be a thick piece of hair. So then you're going to section it into the three probably and then curl it. Okay, so what you're going to do when you're like curling it is make sure you always start with the sides of the head first. So like do this section of her head, and then do this section of her head, and, or it doesn't matter. And then when you get like to the back kind of middle section, what you're going to have to do is curl it from like top to bottom. Like you'll start with the top pieces of hair first, curl those, and then work to the bottom pieces. So what you'll need is, um, we use these thick um, sponge foam rollers that you can get at like Target or the drug or beauty supply store. And they're the thicker ones, but they also come in this smaller size. So then you're also going to need um, spray gel. And okay, yeah, that's what you'll need. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a section of hair. Um, make sure it is not a section that's long, long like this. You kind of want it to be a more square section, um, kind of like this, okay? And you don't want it to be too thick because then it won't dry and it just doesn't work. Is that good? So then you're going to take the spray gel. Now don't like put too much of this on because um, then it won't work. So I just go like this. And then I just use my fingers and get, get it all through. And it's, it's okay if it's not on every single piece of hair. Still hairspray it. So then you're going to take the roller and you start at the very end of the hair. Okay. So um, before I continue, I just want to say that um, you're going to have to like kind of practice and play with it. So I wouldn't recommend doing it the day of the show because when you get to like up here, it's going to have to be like, you got to just play with it to get it straight and flat, you know? Okay, so make sure this piece down here gets rolled under so it's not crazy and sticking out and then don't put it at the very end keep it in a little farther and then I'm gonna be pulling away and then the person will be pulling away too so also also you kind of have to figure out which way you need to roll it so with this, it needs to be rolled at a diagonal like this. And make sure you're rolling away from the person's face. Probably already said that. So make sure it's nice and tight up here still. And roll it all the way to the person's head. And I'm sorry, it might hurt them. Is this okay? okay. So then what you're going to do when it's completely up to their head, you're going to fold this top part. You can fold it either way, but this one's going this way. <laughs> She's like crying. I can't help it. Okay. <laughs> so then that should be staying. Okay, that looks kind of bad, but that's the idea of how to get it. So just make sure it's really flat and tight up against their head and then... <laughs> Um, bend this either way. Kind of looks like a candy cane. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take this hair for an example and pretend that it's like here on this side of the head in the front, okay? And you're just going to have to play with it. Um, so again, same thing, get that hair wrapped under. And this isn't, this isn't hairsprayed. I haven't done it yet. I'm just showing you guys. So then you're always going to want to um, be rolling it like up at a diagonal and 
So that's kind of what you have to do, and then you'll you'll get it up against the head and tighten it. Um, so yeah, that's the idea of what you have to do if it's like in the front. So just make sure you're always rolling away from the face.